Hey everyone, welcome back to Chosco. Today I'm going to show you one situation containing Aji, occurred in professional player's game, and how the Aji came to life in the game. And while showing the variations, I'm going to give you the life and death problems. So during watching this video, please pause for a minute and try the problems by yourself when I tell you to do so. For those who are not familiar with odds, the definition of odds is possibilities left in a territory. There are many kinds of odds, such as big odds that you can achieve a great outcome from, like destroying the opponent's territory, or small odds that you can get a small portion of points as profit. The situation we are going to take a look at today is about big odds. And I wanted to show you this because this Aji is very interesting and so practical that it occurs in the real games many times. Alright, this situation is from Chinese League A warm-up tournament game between Li Chinchang 9P and Chai Jing 6P. White is Li Chinchang 9P and black is Chai Jing 6P. It's black to play and the Aji we are looking at is in the top left corner. White's territory in the top left corner is very solid and well constructed. So in general, there is not supposed to be an Aji in there. However, in this specific situation, there are two singularities. These are A and B. If black attaches at A, White must extend down, so at least this A point is going to be guaranteed sente for black. Also, black can make sente on the B stone like this Atari or this cut. So black has many sente moves black can make in the corner. Therefore, the first principle we can learn about RG is that even if it's a solid and well constructed territory, if there are center moves you can make inside, you should have a strong chance to exploit on RG. Now, I recommend you pause for a minute and try to guess Black's next move to exploit on RG. Did you make a guess? Alright, now let's check how Black played in the real game. That is this move. Did you get it? Or maybe close? It doesn't actually matter if you got it or not. All that matters is now we learn how black actually pulled it off. So let's find out what happens if fight blocks here. Then this Hane is good follow up for black. Now black is using the potential center point of A. If fight blocks, black cuts which is incredible. What white can do is this cut and black can cut here and take this one stone like this. As you can see, this resort is quite successful for black because black cut off and capture white, destroying white's territory. Back here, what would happen if white responds with the empty triangle? Surprisingly here, black can exploit the other center move, which is this attachment. After white extends down, black moves the one stone and cuts. White has to connect here and now black cuts here again. Here if white attacks from this side, black cuts here and white is in big trouble. If white connects here, black can kill them. So white must take the stone and it becomes a co which is a really good result for black. Therefore here, white has to attack from this side, and it's straightforward from here. Black attacks, attack again, and again like this. Keep going. And black gains so much like this. This is an excellent example of showing the power of Aji. Back to the beginning. What would happen if I place this 
diagonal move to prevent black from playing the honey. Then black makes the sand dash again, like this, and Atari here. If I connect here next, black blocks. Black can leave if black takes the vital point, like this. And even if I take it away, black can connect underneath, like this. And it's another successful outcome for black. Back here, let's see what happens if I block here. Then black takes the stone, which is sente, and make this diagonal move. White jumps in to remove black's eye, and black blocks. Here, if white extends down, it becomes seki. And in general, white can make a call by blocking here, like this. But in this particular situation, why cannot? Why don't you pause for a minute and guess the reason? Alright, did you make a guess? Then let me tell you the reason. The reason is that after Black makes this diagonal move and send this in the corner, Black can connect underneath again by this Tetsuji. It's fun, isn't it? So back to the beginning again, White's best response is this extension, which is White played in the real game. Black plays the sand dash again. And block here. This version is very fun and interesting too. Now we can see that if black plays at A, black can connect underneath. And to do that, if white extends down, black jumps here and make a good shape. This is another good life and death problem for Return. It's right to make a call, and I recommend you pause for a minute and try as white. Alright, did you get it? Let's check the answer. If I push this, Black makes a tiger's mouth and live like this. Even if I push this from the other side, the result is pretty much the same. Here comes another important principle for general life and death situation. That is, it's always a good idea to steal your opponent's key point. We can see that this A point is a key point for black, right? Then why should take it away and play right there? After black connects, white attaches, which is good Tetsuji, and it becomes a core like this. This shape occurs all the time in the real game, so it will be very useful to memorize this shape. Back here, like I said, if white just goes in, black can connect underneath, and white cannot stop it like this. Because white is dead, if I try it like this. So that being said, white has to just capture it, and it's another success for black. Then, what's white's best response in this situation? That is, this move. It's amazing, right? Here, if black blocks here, white blocks too. And the difference between this version and the previous one is that black cannot make one space jump because white can cut here. And if black makes the tiger's mouse, white takes the key point and black is dead. Like this or like this. Alright, this is the last life and death problem for today. It's black to live, and black can get cold depending on white's response. Again, pause for a minute and try it by yourself. Did you get it? 
All right, now let's find it out. The answer is this tiger's mouth. Why well, has to connect and blank makes the good shape again. Here, white has two options, taking four stones of black or coal. If white attacks here first and jumps in, it becomes a coal like this. If white pushes here instead and throw in, white can take the four stones in center. Either way is good for white. And actually in the root game, when Lee Chin Chung 9P played the move, Chai Jing 6P resigned right away because he thought this position is unwinnable by that move. Today we took a look at a very interesting situation that contained an Aji and the following variations. And we also did some life and death problems. I believe the problems are very practical and useful for your real play. So I strongly recommend that you practice them several times. So we learned two important principles regarding RG. The first one is when you have some potential center points in your opponent's territory. That could be a strong sign for you to detect an RG in there. The second one is that you always try to take away your opponent's key move or point and to do that you need to be able to read the variations correctly. Life and death problems might be difficult and troublesome but the hard work must be done to improve. And you can improve faster actually by making mistakes and trying again. So I hope you can practice life and death problems by watching this video. So that's it for today. If you have any requests for topics or anything you'd like to see, feel free to leave comments and let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you really enjoyed this video, please like the video and also subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification. I would really appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.